Hey guys, Ivan is here and today I wanted to show you how I set up the light in my scenes, in my games. Because uh, many of you actually ask about that. So uh, I'm going to start, it's going to be a very quick tutorial. And I'm going to start with adding uh, a room, uh, which is basically an uh, object, sprite object uh, to the scene. So I have, I have here like different kind of rooms from uh, Endurance. And I'm just going to add, for example, this one. So as you can see now, uh, I just added this room. And um, you can see if I turn off uh, the lights, uh, you can just can see that it's an object which consists of many tiles. So for example, I can just pick any of those. Uh, these are walls. And for example, if we go to floor parts, you can see it's basically a tile 4x4. Four what I'm going to do now, so the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn down the lights here in the scene and as you can see there's no light sources at the moment, so I'm just having this room here and first of all I'm just going to go to the uh, lighting settings uh, of the scene and here in the lighting tab uh, you can see uh, the environment lighting uh, part, yeah? And then here uh, you're, going to, it's, uh, you're going to set up the ambient color, so basically which is was changing this ambient light in the scene and you can put any any you like. I'm just gonna use, I guess, um, kind of greenish one, but I'm gonna make it darker. It's gonna be like our um, environment light. And then from here, uh, I'm going to set up, I'm gonna create another object, which is going to be a spotlight. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn it on 90 degrees. And if you just can check it in the in 3D mode, I'm just gonna move it closer to to the to the scene so you can uh, see that it's applied it's applied to something. From here, I guess I'm gonna just set up, just make it a little bit wider so it 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 it's co it covers these tiles and you cannot see the edges of the tiles. So I guess something like that might work. Maybe even more. Maybe I can just put like maybe 130. I think it's fine. And then here I'm just gonna put intensity maybe 1.5 or 1.5. Out of that I'm just gonna I'm gonna check uh, the range. I think the range, range is fine. Oh, maybe I'm just gonna add some more. I'm just gonna change the color. I want to make it kind of greenish. So I'm gonna make it kind of green. Uh, I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna actually put it closer, so I'm gonna go to 3D mode, yeah? I'm gonna put it closer. And here, maybe I'm just gonna change the, I'm just gonna change the range, let's see if I change it like that. And I'm gonna make it a bit wider, and then from here, so we'll get, we'll get our light source. And then next thing what I'm gonna do, I have, I have these objects here, uh, also from Endurance, I have these light sources uh, which I've created. Uh, they're just basically sprite. So what they, they consist of. So this is the uh, one thing is basically this is the glowing part. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it glow. And uh, what's that? It's basically an uh, sprite object uh, with alpha channel, and it's just basically this kind of fading. Um, Fade in circle, and then this one I'm just gonna I can just switch it off, and this is a sprite uh, which basically is just a sprite um, which is self illuminated, and I'm just gonna add this kind of glowy glowing thing, and I'm just gonna put it um, next to the wall on the wall, and then I'm gonna move my uh, my light source here so it looks like it's glowing from there. I'm just gonna change a bit the color so it looks more um, kind of more kind of warmer or something like that. So it looks better. And then uh, I can add it actually to our lamp. And then I can just copy and paste it around the scene. And as you can see, uh, I'm just gonna switch this thing off. It looks pretty cool uh, this way. So uh, and then you can add some objects, something like that. And uh, or like this, I mean anything you want to add here, and uh, just to make it look better. And you can I have these gates here, uh, which is uh, there as well. They have a light source here, 
And uh, yeah, so and if you go to the rendering tab, um, I'm just gonna move the camera here, so you can see it, how it looks uh, from the game tab. So you can see all of the shadows are here. And the shadows actually, I made them. This is just a um, you cannot see the area. Yeah? You cannot see any shadow from the um, from the locker. But if you go to the, it's just because uh, the shader, which is applied, it's not very correctly working in the scene mode. But it's just a shadow, basically, that I can just drop under the it's just um, semi-transparent texture, semi-transparent sprite uh, that I'm using under the under different objects. So, but in the just scene tab, you cannot see it, and then in the game tab, uh, you can see everything. You can see the shadow under gaze. You can see see the shadow. I mean, it's not perfectly um, matching the light, but it gives the impression uh, that this, the light is coming from uh, and gives more volume to this to the scene. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, just um, drop me drop me a line under the drop me drop me a comment. Uh, what would you like to see next? I'm planning to make another tutorial uh, on uh, how to implement a Firebase uh, in a mobile game. So I guess this th that one's going to be my next one. And if you're interested in something else, just uh, write me a comment uh, and I can cover something in the next tutorials. So thank you so much and uh, have fun.